hi guys welcome back to my channel if you're new my name is katlero if you're a returning subscriber thank you so much for watching my videos and if you haven't subscribed please hit the subscribe button and let's learn some things together um today's video as you can see from the title i'm going to be talking about a few bursaries you can apply to as an environmental science student or a science student in general for the academic year 2022 and this is in no way a complete list of bursaries you can apply to these are only the few that i'm going to mention because they are still open for applications and you can definitely apply for them now so without wasting any time let's get into the video so this is going to be the structure of my video i'm gonna first talk about the name of the scholarship or bursary fund and the closing date for the bursary i'm going to be talking about the fields that it covers i'm going to talk about what exactly it covers and then where to apply for the bursary the first company or bursary you can apply to is called hot grow the application closing date is the 15th of august this year next month and it covers fields such as biochemistry entomology and nematology genetics horticulture plant pathology soil and water science so i think this is a good way to mention that some bursaries don't necessarily state environmental sciences as a field of study that you that they cover but if they mention things such as soil and water science plant pathology entomology those are fields within environmental sciences so you certainly qualify to apply for that funding it covers tuition accommodation and books and it's renewed yearly based on academic performance the link to apply is in the description box below the second person you can apply to is jones and wegener the application closing date is the 31st of july this month it's like two weeks the fields of study is environmental sciences, geology, geochemistry, as well as civil or bachelor of engineering. So it covers tuition and accommodation and the link is in the description. So for this specific one and others that you're going to see, they do mention environmental sciences. But just a note, not all of them will say environmental sciences. Number three is the Citrus Academy Bursary Fund. The closing date is the 15th of September 2021. And the fields that it covers are much like Hot Grow, which was the first bursary I mentioned. It covers tuition, accommodation, meals, research costs, and other expenses. I think this is a good segue to say most of these bursaries I'm mentioning, they cover both undergraduate and postgraduate studies. Although not all of them, I will mention in the description box which specific ones cover only undergrad or only postgraduate studies, but most of them cover both. So you can find the link to apply for Citrus Academy Bursary Fund in the description box. The next bursary is the NRF Postgraduate Scholarships. As you can tell from the name, it's a postgraduate scholarship. So only postgraduate students, that is honors, masters, or postgrad um PhD students can apply to this field, to this funding. The application closing date is a bit tricky because you will see from the NRF site when the closing date is. However, each institution in South Africa has an internal closing date. So you need to inquire at the postgraduate office at your institution when the internal closing date is because the applications are first reviewed at the in the university level before they go to NRF. So you need to ask at your institution when the closing date is. Unfortunately, I do know that for some universities, the applications are already closed, but I just thought to mention it in case your university is not, the closing date hasn't come yet. So do it as soon as possible. It covers all STEM subjects as well as humanities and social sciences so everybody who's doing postgrad everybody essentially qualifies it covers tuition accommodation and a living allowance so because they've changed the way they do things i can't really comment because i don't have experience i'm currently using the nrf scholarship and 
the agreement that I was on, they were covering my tuition and accommodation and whatever money that was left over was considered an allowance. But as things stand, the new agreements, I think they do give you an allowance. They give you an allowance for electronics and stuff like that. So find out. The link for application is in the description box. The next scholarship is Digby Wells Environmental. The application closing date, I am not sure. However, last year it was on the 31st of December. So I thought to just put it here because most likely it hasn't closed if the application for last year was December. Um, so please do check with them when the application closing date is. Or just send through your applications. That is what I would do. The fields that it covers are environmental sciences, geography, zoology, soil science, aquatic health, botany, etc. It's a Digby Wells environmental, so it covers anything environmental. It covers tuition and allowance, and the link is in the description box. The next one is the CSIR bursary program. The closing date is the 30th of July, so it's in a couple of weeks. And it covers biological sciences, and in my notes I said, and a bunch of other science disciplines because honestly it covers science disciplines and it covers registration tuition accommodation and a living allowance the link is in the description box this one closes very very soon as well as the one that closed on the 31st of july so please apply as soon as possible last but certainly not least is the mutipa foundation bursary the application closing date is usually somewhere in the middle of September every year. I am never sure about the application closing date. It covers science, IT, medical studies, mathematics, engineering, business studies. It covers everyone and it only covers undergraduate studies. So if NRF covers only postgrad, Mozilla Foundation only covers undergrad. It covers tuition books, a living allowance, and accommodation, yeah, but that that all depends, I used it when I was an undergrad, and it covered my tuition, it paid for food, but I didn't get like a stipend, because it was paying for food, and it was buying books, so there was no need, I don't know how they work now, because I haven't used it in a couple of years, the application form, is in the description box i put a link to a google drive where i have the application form as well as the info sheet of everything you need to include in your application i also included a link of where i downloaded the application form so if you would much rather go to that site you are more than welcome and with that being said i'm just gonna mention again that this is not all of the bursaries out there for environmental sciences or science in general. These are the few that I managed to find in the short space of time that I had that happened to still be open for application. And I decided to just go with these six, I think it's six of them, um, because it's better to give you guys the information as soon as possible so you're able to apply before the closing date. With that said, if you know of any bursaries that cover science or environmental sciences that are still open, please put them in the comments section below. Let's share. Tuition is expensive. Let's help each other find funding. And if I do find any more, I will keep updating my description box. So please do make sure you check it out um frequently if you can anyway guys thank you so much for watching my video please give it a like subscribe if you haven't and please share it with anybody who needs funding anybody who needs this information because education is expensive so let's help each other out until my next video bye